ushers. What defines us? What makes us who we are? Perhaps it's our rugged good looks or our ability to hold the offering plate correctly. Maybe it's our good posture or our smiling faces. Or maybe it's just our great conversational skills or our genuine desire to love people. Whatever it is, it takes professionalism to be a good usher. And so today, One word that comes to mind with Usher Crew is professionalism. Probably the most professional thing I've ever done in my life. We're real professional, like Dr. Bob even takes lessons from some of us. Very professional, we never eat on the job. They're just so professional. No, we're pretty professional. We are the most professional. By being professional. Professionalism. So many professional people like Jeremiah Jones who shows up to every event. And no! Max, no! Just keep it professional. We're very serious. Top-notch professional. I'm here outside FMA, otherwise known as Founders Memorial Amphitorium, or the home of all the ushers here on the Bob Jones University campus. Now many of you may not actually know this, but we were actually given a golden shovel um, by the Alumni Association. It's presented to the usher crews who dug in and dug up the funds to build up the Bob Jones University Founders Memorial Amphitorium. Now as I always say, a spade is a spade. So today we're gonna dig up some of our past history and talk about some of our favorite traditions here on the Usher Crew. Getting back to the roots. Really don't have anywhere to put these, so we're just gonna put them right back. Sorry, grounds crew. Hello, and welcome to the Usher Shrine. You may ask, why is it a shrine? Well, these are where our jewels are kept. These are the plates used for ushering in Bible conference. You may wonder, like, okay, why do these have different amount of plates? Well, that's because there's a lot more spots on aisle seven than there are on aisle six. Uh, hopefully you should know that by now. Uh, we have these cloths uh, to polish this fine silver because we do not want it to tarnish. I believe that many of the usher crew would side with me uh, when I say that we would treat them as we would treat our own children and we protect them at all costs. One of the biggest traditions here on the usher crew is being able to know how to tie a rope. That's one of the biggest things that we check to see if you really grasp the understanding of being able to tie a rope. As a senior, I know how to tie a rope. Just do some little loop-de-loops and some Oh, some little flingy things here, and oh, okay, all right, okay, let's see. Oh, oh. <laughs> close, right? A great benefit to the usher crew are the stairs we get to ascend to the rub room. Fifty-two steps. And it might seem difficult after a long day of class, but you get some major calf muscles, so it's a plus. Come on, let's go! room is one of those places on campus that few students know about, but we ushers do. The first meeting, you walk all the way up those stairs and you are part of the family. The crew meets here for very important meetings, as well as the usher auction. Did you bring a lot of money tonight, Smitley, for this auction? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be spending it everywhere. Good boys, what are we feeling about this auction? Uh, we're feeling great. We have a lot of money. Lots of money? Yes, we did. How much? I'm not gonna say. All the money. All the money. Be flexing hard on these people. They're not even flexing hard on these people. Oh, Jared, how much money? Oh, Christian, how much money? Oh, I gave a kidney for this auction. Actually, there's a, a kidney. Huge, there's a bandage back here. <laughs> Bella, how much money? You want me to do hope? <laughs> Rachel Anderson, how much money did you bring? Oh, um, not. I love 
chips and Jesus. You love chips and Jesus. Amen to that. Usher auction is the most important, well, one of the most important uh, events of the Usher crew. The Usher auction is the most fun tradition, tradition of the Usher crew. Um, we come together and we raise funds for um, the school's needs. We really take this matter seriously. We have that standard all across the board. Now, one of the biggest aspects of this crew is the boss himself. We've been very fortunate to have Mr. David Orr as the head of our crew. A few of our cameras caught up with the mob boss himself to take a few moments and have him answer a few questions about what his role is like on this University Usher crew. Let's take a look. The way our classes work, you don't have to sign up or... You know, when I think about the crew, especially this year, it's like, wow. I cannot remember a year where we have had a team that is more in touch, more together, more unified. Just the spirit of, of oneness. What? I'm going to purple. <laughs> they can't tell me where to sit. It, it makes it a joy for me to be able to, to serve with the ushers. I, I am so thankful for, for what an incredible team we have this year. I love our leadership. They are some of the most quality people that I get to work with. And their dedication, uh, devotion to serving the crew is just outstanding. Steven is very thoughtful. He is very considerate, um, and he's very kind. Peter is studious, uh, determined to, to do well, and he studies the job, and he, he works hard to understand what it is that he's doing. And then when I think, think about Sam, wow, the, the level of detail that he has to keep up with, putting together those emails. Tori is one of those, like, you know, once in a hundred year kind of people. She has been such a great uh, team player, just serving and wanting to, to be there to help and, and do her role. So me. <laughs> you know, our crew meetings are really, really critical times where we have a lot of information to convey. Having everybody there focused and really intent on the details that we're communicating makes us so much stronger as a team because, because then we are all working together off the same information and th those are such key times for the crew. When Mr. Orr first announced that ladies would be able to plate, we felt honored to be part of this long-standing tradition at Bob Jones University. The men on our crew take this job very seriously, and we feel honored to be a part of it. We recognize the honor of this position, and we just really want to be able to follow these amazing leaders in the best way we can. Another great tradition on the Usher crew is the annual Usher picture. Now this is a great way to capture what the crew was like at this time. And you know what the best part about it is, is that it really shows the family unity that we have on the crew. Nobody's horsing around, nobody's trying to be the center of attention. We're all just standing there, smiling nice, and looking like the wonderful crew we are. Now as an usher, the tradition of coming to this building week in and week out, working hard or hardly working, shows itself on this FMA floor. Come with me and experience one of the joys of being an usher. This floor has seen many, many different ushers through the years. Myself, Dan Heffernan, Jacob Jones, Daniel Smitley, Aaron Ferrari, John Gallant, Stephen Hockey, Becca Anderson, Justin Woodham, that one's a bit of a stretch. Wilbur Matthew Mock III, Amanda Leatherwood, Kimberly Mitchell, Jordan Lanky, Smith, Adam Weeble, Taylor Wobble, Bella Lopez, Jacob Koshig, Manny Torres, Anna Joyce, Grace Fermel, Jared, the other Jared, 
One more, Jared, Matthew Henderson, Ben Landry, Caleb Green, Rachel Anderson, Sarah Kunkel, Rachel Irving, Hope Zachariah, Hannah Zachariah, Haven Zachariah, Hanny Zachariah, and all the other Zacharias. Alex Kip. At this point, I'm basically trying to memorize everybody's name because I don't want to leave anybody out. Shannon. Forget her last name. Michael Pettit, Jack Sterner, Lizzie Wilson, David Suleiman, Marvell Luresh. This floor has been home to many a great usher. They've worked hard. They've challenged each other. They know the tradition of the usher crew is important. Now we've been focusing on the individual traditions uh, reflected in the usher crew, but the overall tradition is in itself the usher crew. Uh, this tradition I have longed for since I was uh, but a wee lad. Uh, it's just a very sobering moment and I'm glad that I am able to be of such, such high esteem and it would be part of such a crew. I just hope that the people under me and that will you know, rise up, I just hope that they will take this to heart too, the overall tradition of the uh, Usher crew. It, ne it needs to be kept. It needs to be kept. So ladies and gentlemen of the Usher crew, if there's one thing I want you to remember today, it's the tradition of the Usher crew. Whether you're a graduating senior leaving us for good or an incoming freshman rising to the occasion, like the spade says, always remember to dig in and dig up. Wait, Steven, wait, wait, show me one more time, one more time.